What's going on everybody? My name is Brian Stan. I'm starting a YouTube channel. This is my Acura RSX. It is not a Type S model. It is a base model. It was an automatic. As you can see, we've uh, changed some stuff up. I just got done painting the engine bay. And uh, in a moment, I'll show you the engine. Subframe is getting changed out, by the way. We're gonna check out the uh, fuel cell in the back. Just a basic little eBay fuel cell, nothing crazy. We uh, do have the uh, the rollover valve. Everyone should have. And a Deech Works pump. I believe it's a 350. And I do have water in the back. If you uh, have an RSX, you would know what this is about. Generally, it has to do with your uh, tail light seals. And uh, that will be fixed soon. Probably just going to drill a hole for now, though. So I'm going to be real with you. I generally have a lot of projects. Uh, I don't like doing a lot of things at one time because, let's be honest, kind of a fat guy. But uh, I'm going to show you my other one, too. This is a K24A2. It is not a Type S head. Uh, it is a stock K24A2 head. I am running a eBay intake manifold. I did have to chop off the end right here to get it to fit with the uh, power steering pump. As you can see, it is all welded though. It should be fine. Manifold on the back is a Just TIG manifold. Great guy. Does wonderful work, as you can tell. will be a boosted engine i will be trying to push for about 500 um obviously an extreme goal but uh the bottom end is built so it should be fine promise you i would show you my other project so let's get to that one too this is an rsx type s and it is currently on hold until i am done with my daily i uh will turn on the light and give you an example of what's going on though all right excuse the light it is awkward in here with the uh with the lighting system, but I do have it completely gutted at the moment, as you can tell. And uh, everything in the rear is lined up. Like I said, excuse the light. We are going mid-engine with this one. This is a uh, extreme project to me. Um, I'll be honest, I. Uh, haven't been welding since I uh, went to school, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I got to be honest, uh, I love this chassis and I've always wanted to see a mid-engine version of it. So this might be the first. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, this was going to be a, uh, a timely project. So I do have a Type S subframe for the rear as well as spindles and everything. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know for sure though. So I do have one more project. This project is on hold um, at least for another six months probably, but uh, I'll give you an inclination of that. Just picked up an all wheel drive engine and transmission from a CRV. This will not be for the RSX. This will be for an FRS actually. A buddy of mine uh, just sold me one. And uh, I've never seen an all-wheel drive version of an uh, FRS, so uh, I'm going to fab it up. So I kind of hope that gives you uh, some detail into what I'm into. Obviously, uh, K-Series is my thing. I do enjoy, uh, well, VQ engines as well, you know, anything Nissan, anything Honda. But uh, enjoy your guys' day.